Chapter 3, Mishnah 2. This Mishnah lists additional cases in which the sages decreed a higher level of Torah for Kodesh than for Terumah. Utensils that were completed in Torah and were reliably protected against Tuma from then on need immersion to be used with Kodesh, but not to be used with Terumah. The seventh stringency concerns food touched by Tevel Yom. A utensil combines any pieces of food that are in it with regard to Kodesh, so that if there are several pieces of Kodesh food in it and a Tevel Yom touches one of them, they all become Tame. But this is not so with regard to Tiruma. If a utensil contains several pieces of Tiruma and Tevel Yom touches one of them, that piece alone becomes Tame and the others remain Tahor. The eighth stringency notes how many degrees of Tuma apply to Kodesh and how many apply to Tiruma. Food that is a Revi'i, fourth degree of Tuma, in the case of Kodesh is Pasul, meaning that the Kodesh itself may not be eaten, though it could not make anything else Tame. But in the case of Teruma, only food that is the Shlishi, third degree of Tuma, is Pasul. The ninth stringency concerns the Tuma of hands. And with regard to handling Teruma, if just one of a person's hands has become Tame with rabbinic Tuma, but he needs to purify only that one hand, and the other one is still Tahor, but regard to handling Kadosh, if one hand becomes Tame with rabbinic Tuma, and the other is considered Tame as well, and he must immerse both of them in a mikvah. For a hand that is rabbinically Tame makes the other one Tame with regard to Kodesh, but not with regard to Tirumah.